starts off really good, but then it kind of tumbles down. Hey guys, here's my review for the 12th episode of Supernatural Season 11, and we got our first official filler episode, like straight up, this was filler. There was nothing to do with Amara, nothing to do with Lucifer, nothing to do with Cass. It was pure filler. It was okay, though. In this episode, the brothers go and find Sheriff Mills. She's actually been one of the best reoccurring characters on this show, just because of her very quirky personality and her very straight-to-it sort of dialogue. And we also caught up with Jimmy, or Castiel's original host's daughter, Claire, and also this Alex girl. Now, honestly, I totally forgot who she was totally spaced and in my opinion i think the show writers probably would have thought that yeah probably no one really remembers this girl so she was the one that i believe it might have been in i'm trying to remember the season it was either season six or season eight this was this girl who was basically used as bait by these vampires this vampire nest used her as a means of luring people using her as a an innocent girl who needed help but they never turned her but Sam and Dean saved her and she went to live with Sheriff Mills, as well as Claire who used to be Castiel's daughter, or Jimmy's daughter, and she went to live with Sheriff Mills. So we have these two girls who are completely different because one of them's hanging out with the with the prom king of the year and then the other one's trying to be a hunter, Claire. It was just kind of an obvious thing. It was sort of something that obviously was going to happen considering her entire family died, but we knew that something like this was going to happen with Claire. The thing that we probably didn't anticipate though was how off her acting was. She was okay for certain scenes. There was especially a scene where they were having dinner and Sam and Dean are just gorging on Mill's food because, well, they can't cook to, for anything. So they're like, wow, mashed potatoes, this is great. And then comes this very awkward scene between Alex and Claire, basically how Claire outs Alex about having sex with her boyfriend and Dean's just like, oh, here we go. And it was such a great scene. My brother and I were laughing the entire time. It was really good. Everyone in the room was laughing. It was a very funny, it was awkward, but it was really funny awkward because Sam and Dean were just like the whole time. And that was the best scene in the entire episode, to be honest. But then going on to the actual episode itself, we were trying to see Claire as a hunter and I don't know, we didn't really see much. Like we got all these sort of instances when Sam was talking with her about what it's like to be a hunter and then just what she was doing, but I don't know, her acting in this episode just, especially when it was revealed what was going on in the town, it turned out that it was actually a victim of one of Alex's hunts, like, or her, her traps. It was, he was a regular guy who actually was a good man who tried to help her, but he got torn to shreds, turned into a vampire, went back home and killed his own wife. And this was actually a really cool idea for a villain because he's one that we can side with. Technically, he has reasons to be angry. He has every means of wanting revenge. But then as his dialogue starts to kind of as he starts talking, you're just like, oh god, you're turning into a stereotype villain. And then when it turned out that the boyfriend was a vampire, I actually called it right off the bat when I saw him. I was like, he's gonna be part of this. And he was, and he was honestly awful. I thought that his character was really badly written. But just when they were fighting, she just went, shut the hell up, you sociopath. Was that the first try? So I don't know, I thought that really, if they're gonna ever have Claire back, definitely work on her character development and a bit of her acting, perhaps. I just, I don't know, I didn't think, I don't think that was her best try. But either way, the episode still was entertaining. It was funny. It was pure filler, but I like Sheriff Mills. At first, I didn't like her when she was first introduced, but this character's really grown with me, and I did enjoy it, despite the fact that this episode was very filler. However, it is filler. You will never remember this episode. This is one of the many episodes that will just get passed off and not be remembered, and I don't know if they're ever going to actually do anything with this, because... Season 11, for Christ's sake. Anyway, 
In the end, my review for this episode is a 4 out of 7. It's funny, it was entertaining, it was filler though. And some of the acting was bad, and the episode just kind of really fell apart in the end. But either way, it was an okay episode. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this review, and I can't wait to keep talking about more Supernatural. We're 10 episodes away now from the end. And by the way, if you guys were wondering, yes, I do have the other. <laughs> See you guys later.